Welcome back everybody or welcome if you are new today. We are here at Fairberry in the Dirt Pro late models uh, I was not very fast in this and also we're car number seven out of 16 in this race Which I think we all just make it to the feature regardless, but I was not fast in this Everyone is super quick and I'm like a lower car number than normal. There's a lot of really fast people here So this is gonna be real interesting I've been trying to tweak my setup as I go because I didn't really have a setup really made for this track yet, but there's a lot more work I need to do, apparently. The fastest I ran was like a low seven right there in practice, and that's the fastest I've been yet on this track, so. Other people are running in the fours and stuff like that, that's absolutely crazy to me. My car feels like it handles good and everything too. Trying to keep my car as straight as possible for the exit of the corners. I ran a 741 and a 744. God, people are so fast here. This is going to be such a high strength of field. It's going to be so difficult. Holy crap. But waiting on everyone to qualify, so I'll pick it up when we are about to go green. Alright, looks like we qualified 10th, so we'll be second in, or we'll be fifth in the second heat. So we get to watch the first heat go. Everyone got a little slower, it seems like, except for the guy who got the pole. He got a little bit faster, which is crazy. But I'm kind of happy with where we qualified. It was a little bit higher than we were in practice, so at least we don't have to worry too, too much. But at the same time, some of these people down here might have just messed up their lap. So. Or the track slicked off a little bit more than it was in practice, and they lost their time. Because I ran my time in practice, like, right at the end. They don't have the practice times anymore. Okay, that's weird. But I ran a 7.08, I think it was. And that was, like, towards the end of practice. I started, like, getting a little bit more of a handle for it. But this track's, like, really interesting because it's going to slick off on the bottom real quick. And then you're going to want to move up higher and higher. And then when, right when you get up to that wall, there's a pretty good banking up there. But once you smack the wall, it just straightens you out real quick. It's tough to run up there. Hopefully we can gain a couple spots in the heat race. That'd be nice. Oh yeah, while these guys are pacing, if you'd like to use my qualifying and heat setup, here you go. Oh my god, it's a bird. It's a plane. <laughs> it's a Zach McSwain. He's fast. But, yeah, I definitely don't have the good. best setup, see. for sure. But if you don't have a setup at all, this might help you a little bit. Gain a little speed. So, go right ahead. Use my setup. I don't... I don't, I, don't, I, don't I know I'm not great at making shit. setups, but I can make it Zach, handle I decent, I guess. Time, so, me, I can hopefully I'll help here. you guys out if you need one in general. Green flag, green flag. One car gets a great jump. I want it to follow most exciting. Yeah, he's going to run right on that edge on the bottom. So one, a couple guys all the way up at the top. The bottom's just so much quicker when there's grip down there than the top is. The last practice I was in, like most of the track was worn out, so I was trying to work from the top and get used to it for the feature race, because I figured we're gonna be up there during that. Six car is kind of struggling on the bottom. This black car that's on the outside, I don't know what number he is, I don't see one, but he is ripping it on the top and he's actually gaining a spot out of it. Everybody's pretty single filed out now. Six cars trying to work the top now behind him because he was losing time on the bottom. Definitely think the like mid to bottom still the fastest way around if you can do it the right way like we were in qualifying. Definitely still think that's the fastest because what kind of times are they running? Yeah, they're running like 13 zeros. When we were running 12-7, or he ran a 12-8 there, that's a good time for up top, I would say. But we were still running like a 12-7 on the bottom. Nearly got into each other there. They were almost three wide with the 10 for a second, but the 10 like backed out of it on the bottom. He smacks the wall. These are the only guys really side by side on the track, it looks like. Six trying to work the bottom again on every car. What car number is this person? They are car number 11, Justin. Okay. Justin's pretty good. I've raced him a lot. He's usually pretty quick. So these eight laps go super quick. That was it for that one. 
Those laps go very fast. Justin went from sixth to fourth, though. Nice. Everyone else Take pretty much. Take second to McSwain any day. Definitely like maintain. I think most Ooh. positions, but hopefully we can gain a spot in right, our right race. Row. That it's gonna be hard to. I know that it's gonna be real tough. Like this is like I, I think this is gonna be one of the highest strength strength fields I've had in a long time racing in anything like any dirt race. Cause I'm usually like a top four, three car number a lot of times you guys have seen. And now we're back down Boy. all the way down to seven. There's a lot of high I rating guys here. What's going on? The only good thing about that is like, on. you get a race against the better guys, which I like a lot. I like racing Hold the faster up, guys. Let me hook a chain to you. That's you the only way you can get better is if you race guys that are faster than you. Come on. And higher I ratings, but higher I rating doesn't always mean better necessarily. Anyone can be better at a track if, the, the, no matter the I rating. All right, man, we're going green. Next Hopefully, we can get a pretty good start here. Still looks like this like middle lane doesn't have much worn out in it, or at least too much. All right, man. Pace cars in. At least we're in the lane with the leader, so hopefully we can get a good start. Not a bad start. Outside. Definitely don't want to come up on the guys on the wall. I'm just going to try to hook this bottom as good as I can. Five cars fast on that outside. Two cars gone from the field already. I want to see if I can work a little bit higher of a line. That didn't really work out. I was kind of too high in the slickness. That eight completely cut off the five there. That's not the way to run the outside. I'm like going too low into it. Might end up losing two spots out of this heat race, which is not going to be great. But it sticks to the bottom, and I smacked the wall there. When you smack the wall in the corner at this place, like your back end is way out there, and it likes to kick you straight. And it's not fun. Okay, let's go back to the bottom before we lose all the positions. <laughs> Hopefully, we can do a little bit better in the feature race, gain some spots back, because. This is going to be a rough race, but this, this race seems like it's been pretty clean overall so far. Nobody really getting into each other. So we lost two positions there, that sucks. So we'll be starting on the outside in 14th. Detroit, the we we'll start in 14th here in the feature race. This setup's a little different because it has more fuel. If you'd like to use it, go right ahead. It's not too, too much different, but it's a little bit overall. So go ahead and use it if you'd like. But we are starting, where is it, 14th? Where is uh, we, yes, 14th. So we're starting way in the back. It's going to be a struggle. All right, man. Line up on the outside, There's really. a lot of fast people here. I just don't have a handle of this track. Fairberry has always been a tough one for me, except in the uh, limited late models. But especially when I have to make a setup, and I don't have much of a setup made yet, because this is still fairly a new track, and I haven't ran it much on the Dirt Pro late model side. Definitely better here when we have fixed setups. I think everybody has gridded up. Yeah, there we go. So hopefully we can have a clean race like we did in the heat races. Nobody was really getting into each other at all. No wrecks. But we'll see how this feature goes with all 16 of us here instead of just 8 in each heat. Love that there's no consolation race. Everybody just moves straight on. Because the consolation race is really boring to watch, but I would end up in it, I would end up being in it if uh, if there was one because I was seventh in our heat, and seventh on back usually goes into the consolation right, races. Green next time, 
Definitely got to gain some spots, though. We're car number seven, so we got to probably finish around ninth to gain any I rating. Because there's a lot of good guys here. A lot of high I ratings. Got to work the top now. While there's a guy on the inside of us, I'd like to be able to move down. Really good. Everyone is just spread out like crazy in the corners. Like these corners are actually pretty wide for how small the track this is. It's a very wide corner track. That you can easily get three to four wide in if you got good enough guys racing. I'm trying to stay off the guy below me, getting into the wall a little bit on the straightaway. I'm gonna end up getting a bunch of 2x's like I do at Eldora Watch. If I have to stay on this outside, I'm gonna end up getting a bunch of 2x's. I think I could have dropped down there. I think I'm actually clear. Let's see if we can make up some spots here. We've already made up one off the start, so that's nice. Gotten to the inside of the 15 now. There's like a huge group of people up here. My car is straightening up too early off the corner. I'm not able to get the drive off. Like it's straightening up just at the end wrong and it's going, it's shooting me out towards the wall and I'm trying not to get into the 15. But as soon as I get the drive off it just hooks right for a second and I don't like that. Off of four, I'm getting two sideways off of it, and then off of two, it's hooking. Really weird. All right, let's see if I can get to the outside of him. They seem to be doing all right up there. Too much gas in the middle of that corner. I just don't like the top as much, not nearly as much. If somebody's not on my outside, I could run the bottom pretty well, I guess. I don't have to worry about sliding up into them. I feel like I've done really well at this track in the uh, street stocks as well. Again, a fixed race. Not an open setup race. I definitely do better in fixed. Some tracks in the these Pro-Lay models I'll do better in because I've had a setup for a long time in them. But other tracks like this that are still fairly new, probably gonna struggle at more because I don't have a setup mate. I'm not a setup guru at all. I do what I can. I mainly mess with the fuel just for the heat and feature setups and then I'll mess with the stagger, the rear stagger at least, and try to tighten up the car depending on when you'll be running in the race, on how much grip level you'll probably have, and then the axles a little bit too, or the, the chassis J-bar. I don't mess with two too much, and then the gear ratio obviously, because you want to get the gear right at each track. Because my gears change a little bit from the heat and qualifying to the feature, just because you might be running higher in the feature, so you need to back down the RPM just a little bit. But when you run straight and slick like that, you're going to be hitting the rev limit the whole damn time, so. 15 starting to struggle. Oh, they're wrecked. Line up single file. Zero to close. Pass the 14. 
funny. I was just thinking to myself, you know, I've had a lot of races this week go start Jesus to finish all green and then that happened. Hopefully we can get back on the lead lap because I feel like I just got screwed. I'm not sure though. I'm pretty over this track though, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it's been kind of brutal on the high rating. I don't know where the hell it's gonna put me. Hopefully it put me back on the lead lap. Like, the five was spun there, could not see him at all. Oh, jeez. I think it's put me back on the lead lap. All right, cool. I got lucky with that. Jesus Christ, we're already getting ready to green. The pace truck came so quick, and I was just stuck there with the five because the five wasn't going. He wasn't in gear. Oh, you good, buddy. I literally couldn't do anything there. I was trying to get back as quick as possible. It still said past the 13, but I feel bad for him. He kind of got really screwed out of that. Well, I think he was a lot down anyways, so. I don't know what the hell happened with that wreck and whatever just happened all right there. Corner, give him black flag. I was literally coming back as fast as I could. Like, these caution laps are so fast. I have not had that happen before, because I thought I was going to be stuck a lap down with the five, because... I literally couldn't go anywhere. I was sideways against the wall and the five, and the five just kept gassing it and not putting in gear, so he wasn't moving. And then by the time I was starting to catch the group, it was green flag, and they all started going, so like, I literally couldn't do anything like that. That was the weirdest thing. I don't even know what happened with that wreck, but by the time I got there, I couldn't stop him. I think I got a 2x for it, but I'm not 100% sure. I think so, though. This track is so worn out now from, like, top to bottom. I was just catching the 15, too. Like, God damn it. Like, he, he was having a couple bad corners. I got to his outside, about to try to take advantage of him. And then there was a wreck on the high side the second I go in that corner. Oh, damn, man. It's a good racing right there, buddy. Field's catching me, which I don't like, but also there's only like two laps left, so we'll be fine. Sucks that all will happen. Yeah, I do have a 2x. I thought I was gonna have a 4x right there as soon as I said that. <laughs> Smack the wall. But goddamn, that was annoying. I've never had that happen where you got like waved back around everybody on dirt. But I definitely thought I was gonna be stuck a lap down. But they didn't really help us because we couldn't get back in time. Yeah, that's true. That's a lot of fun, man. I think overall it was a pretty good race. Two sideways. It was a fun race until that wreck happened. We ended up getting 14 because that, that 5 got black flag, it looked like. Which sucks. But there's nothing I can do about that. Or no, not the 5. What, what card did? I think the 16 got black flag. I literally couldn't get back around him in time. Where was that wreck, though? So we were running right with the 15 for like the whole race. He started having a couple really bad corners. I got to his outside right here. Started to run the top and there's a wreck in turn four right there. And I'm just on the brakes trying not to hit him and I hit him. And then he's up in the air so he can't go anywhere. I back up, he gets on the ground, but then he's just revving it and not putting it in gear. There's literally nowhere I can go at that point. What the hell even happened with that wreck though? He was running in seven. Him and the four got together. Oh, and then the eight came by and just like sideswiped them both. Or just the five, really. And they just got stuck there. Just the angle that you're going in these corners, I could not see that one bit at all. I'm going in the corner. And I don't see it to like there. And also the caution wasn't out. So that was just bad, bad timing. But he just kept gassing it and not not put it in gear, so it wasn't helping us at all. I want to go back to the very beginning, because they were like three, four wide back here. It's crazy. Going in this first corner. They might have been like four wide up front. <laughs> Everyone just like fighting for position is hard though. Trying to get any position they can off the start. But I'm surprised there was only one wreck with how many of us there were on how small the track this is. You do get very spread out though. 
15 about got hit into the wall by the 12. 12 almost got turned by the 15 early. We just got, we just did not have a great setup. I definitely have to work on this track more next time we come back here. So that was definitely a struggle, but it was a very fun race overall, I feel like. We just finished 14th because of that wreck. I feel like we could have finished a few spots higher. We were right with the 15, so if we didn't get caught up in that, I think we could have been like 11th-ish, 10th maybe, because the 8 was in that wreck too. So, definitely going to lose some I-rating finishing 14th and we're car number 7, so let's go see how much we actually ended up losing out of it. Alright, results are in. We finished 14th, started, what was it, four, we started 14th in the feature because we messed up in uh, the heat race, but lost 75, jeez, we're almost down to 4,000, god, that sucks. But look at the I ratings in this race, the number one guy's a pro, he runs in the pro series and everything, he has 85, almost 8,600 I rating. What was the strength of field? The strength of field was 35, 61, that is super high, that is ridiculous. Like, the lowest number was in the 21 he was in the 2200s when we were racing that was his i that was the lowest i rating in this race which is crazy sometimes that's like number three or four in the race for me that's absolutely crazy so this was a very high strength of field very high leveled racers on dirt and they're just very good so i'm not like super mad about this race just because i know how stiff the competition was here and the track being like i don't i don't have a good setup for that track either so i'm not super mad about it but that was a fun race overall so hopefully we could do better next time and i work on the setup a little harder i definitely would do that for sure so we can definitely have better results and gain some more i rating back because i was trying to get to like 4500 this season because we started at like the mid 42s almost 43 i think we hit 43 at some point and we've just plummeted down the last i don't know week or two it's been a struggle so hopefully you guys enjoyed the race anyways like comment and subscribe if you want to see some more racing i'll definitely be doing some more trying to get better and i will catch you guys in the next race